Welcome to our hub identification class and we are here to learn very important uh, things that pertains to our health. Remember that we are identifying what grows in our locality and their medicinal properties. And I'm here to educate you to know how to use them. And do not forget the eight laws of, of health, of proper nutrition, exercise, and uh, plenty of water, and being in the sun, uh, having uh, temperance in all that you, you take in your system, knowing that which is right for you and that which is good for you, and using moderately that which is good for your system. And you need to breathe deeply, in fresh air, more so in the morning, having morning walks with deep breathing exercises, and again also knowing uh, your God, trusting in the divine power, as well as proper resting, and also you need to reach out unto the people. Uh, do not have attention on yourself, but put attention on the things of God and garden, set your gardens, have your farm, or source your products from an organic uh, food store. And this will help you to restore your health. And so today we are discussing Helimus repens, that is couch grass. It is known to be a Euro cleanser. It helps to, uh, to build and strengthen, regenerate, and uh, alkalize your urethral system as well as urine uh, uh, your urinary tract system this is bermuda grass or sindon uh, ducti lawn the couch grass root is taken by mouth for constipation and uh, cough for bladder for swelling or inflammation fever, high blood pressure, or kidney stones. It is also used for water retention. Uh, if someone is having edema or inflammation of the veins or water buildup in the veins or even in the lungs or even in the heart, you need to take a root decoction of the, uh, of the couch grass. Just take a two, two tablespoon of the powder in one glass of hot water, let it stay for 20 minutes and then take it in. If someone is having a kidney problem, you'll have to take copiously the, this tea about a liter every day. You need also to make sure that you drink a lot of water. Many people fear that if you have a problem with your urinary tract system or your kidney, you need not to drink water. Yet that is not the case. You need to take a lot of water so that it flushes out the old urine because some of the people have urine retention and that makes the, uh, the bladder to be affected. And so to help with that infection, you must take a lot of water and take couch grass to wash the urinary tract system. Another fruit that you will be using is uh, pineapple juice. It's so helpful in uh, washing or cleansing the urinary tract system as well as cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is known to collect all the debris, all the putrefied matter within your urinary tract system, and then you are able to eliminate them using couch grass root tea or corn silk tea or horseweed tea. Uh, it helps with bladder health. Couch grass is Powerfully diuretic and has a soothing anti-inflammatory healing effect on the lining of the bladder. It is rich in mucilage, volatile oils, and polysaccharides, which are considered the active ingredients of this herb. The sugar compounds, which are released on contact, on contact with water in the body, soothe the mucosa uh, throughout the body, especially in the urinary tract. One of these compounds is uh, tritacine a polysaccharide related to inulin, which makes up around 8% of the herb. It is this compound that makes it a good remedy for mild cystitis, inflammation of the, of the, uh, of the bladder, uh, inflammation within 
the, uh, the tube that connects the bladder and the urethra. When certain sugar compounds are released into the urinary tract, the bacteria that causes cystitis are attracted to these compounds, causing them to release their hold in the urethra. As long as, uh, as long as lots of water is drunk alongside the herb, this can help to flush the disease, causing bacteria out of the urinary tract. As a diuretic, which grass assists the kidney in clearing out waste, salt, and excess water by increasing urine production. This also inhibits microbial growth in the urinary tract system. What you need to know is that your kidney can be overweighed and burdened by some of the activities that you, you do. If you don't drink enough water for your system, uh, the kidneys will be overweighed because of rehydration and also uh, the filtration process will not be effective and it means that your kidney cannot flush out a lot of the urea and creatinine so as a result your urea your uric acid levels will go up, go up as well as your urea and creatinine levels and that will weigh down the cells of your kidney and you can have a kidney failure those who are eating high proteinous diets and do not drink enough water, whether it is grains or the flesh diet, but flesh diet makes it more worse. Many people feed on the white meat, which is so deleterious to the cells within the kidneys. And uh, the animal products generally are not helpful for the body system because of their lots of proteins and the urea that are deposited and creatinine levels that are deposited within your kidney. So you need to flush, to drink a lot of water to flush out this old urine as well as the urea and the creatinine. Uh, and uh, uh, if someone is having kidney problem or kidney failure, he will have to lower the intake of the proteins, whether plant-based diet, plant-based proteins or animal proteins. And uh, and uh, sometimes you'll have to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and drink a lot of water and exercise. Drink cranberry juice and citrus fruit juices to help you with your kidney. Drink parsley tea and a flaxseed tea and that will be able to help your kidney to, uh, to adjust. Plantain tea is also very helpful and uh, the leaves of uh, avocado and uh, and the leaves of avocado as well as the leaves of mangoes. You make a strong uh, uh, infusion in water for 20 minutes and then take that for helping you with your kidney. You need to do massage on the lower back area and use hot and cold fermentation procedures in on your lower back to help you with that. You need to do a massage on the L5 and the L6 and also in the T, uh, T3 and T4 that are connected with your liver. Now, sometimes people have kidney failure because of the adrenal polyps. Uh, adrenal polyps are those adrenal glands that are above the kidney. So if you have tiredness, weakness, anxiety, and sometimes breaking down easily, it just means that your adrenal system, adrenal glands are being overweight. And what you need to do is to make sure that you take foods that are going to give energy to your kidneys and the adrenal glands on, uh, on, the, on top of the kidneys. And what you do is make sure that you take Carrot juice, carrots with the leaves are very good. In fact, the leaves of carrots are good for uh, for making your adrenal glands to restabilize and normalize in their working uh, model or uh, processes. And uh, you need to take that about uh, three times a day. You need to take parsley. You need to take ginseng and uh, and uh, and ginger to help with your adrenal glands and that strengthen your kidney generally and uh, another thing that we need to understand when we are dealing with the urinary tract system also the kidney the kidney do not need a lot of salt if your kidney is 
the kidney problem is as a result of the potassium being high, you will have to eliminate all foods that are uh, high in potassium and take foods that are less in potassium. But if your kidney failure is as a result of uh, creatinine levels being high, as a result of high protein diet, you'll have to eliminate them and subsist on, uh, on foods that are low in, uh, in proteins, like, uh, like uh, fruits and vegetables, as well as taking seeds like chia seeds and flax seeds. Um, another thing we need to understand is uh, uh, the couch grass that we are mentioning here will be very helpful for you in respiratory health. Couch grass is an expectorant herb that helps to alleviate irritating coughs, bronchitis and laryngitis. Its soothing effect on the mucus in the chest make it effective in cleansing carterial congestion. It can also be used as a gargle to provide relief from sore throats, laryngitis, and tonsillitis. The rich silica content has a healing effect on the lungs, making this herb useful after chest infection. Now, this tells you that if it has high silica content, it can also use for bone health because your bone needs phosphorus, needs silica, uh, which is an intrinsic factor in helping the phosphorus and the calcium to get into your system. And foods that are rich in silica are the couch grass, the horseweed, and uh, another herb that is, uh, is very important is, is, is uh, all steel that very good. And uh, another thing is oats, either green oats or the oats straw powder, taken as a tea to rejuvenate your osteoporosis or, osteoporosis or gout or rheumatoid arthritis or the osteoarthritis. Uh, uh, so if you have a broad understanding of these herbs, you will have to combine them together into a formula and uh, perhaps do a powerful extraction procedure using the DMSO or using the vegetable glycerin and preserve in molasses uh, for later use. Now, another thing that uh, uh, the couch grass will help you is digestive health. When animals seek out grass to ease digestive problems, their top choice is always couch grass. The rich mucilage content of the rhizome provides digestive benefits to humans too. Most mucilage is not broken down by the human digestive system. It absorbs toxins from the bowel and gives bulk to stool, which in turn can lower bowel transit time. And the mucilage also protects against ingested toxins and bacteria. It helps to regulate intestinal flora, relaxes and soothes via the endocrine lining of the gut and protects against gastric acidity. Another thing you have to note is a good for your liver health. Couch grass rhizome contains insocytol, uh, a compound that prevents the accumulation of fats and cholesterol in the liver. Studies have found that inositol can help to prevent fatty liver disease, especially if used in conjunction with choline. The traditional use mostly is, is considered as annoying weed. Couch grass has long been valued by herbalists for its mucilage rich rhizome. It has been used for thousands of years to treat water retention, blood eye issues, kidney infection, and kidney stones, sore throats, and and to clear congestion. This is the grass that domestic dogs and cats seek out as medicine with animals instinct instinctively knowing which plant and grasses are naturally beneficial to them. It is also known as dog grass for this very reason. So you want, if you want to, to know how health you are supposed to restore your health, look at what the animals do when a dog is having stomach problem, he will go and eat a lot of grass. And even, uh, even some of the animals, because animals like cat and dogs. And that will actually alleviate the problem. Now, if you have the couch grass leaves powder, uh, it's very important for fighting cancer. In fact, it has many phytochemicals that helps to... Uh, uh, reduce the effect of the uh, uh, of the of the cancer cells within your system, and uh, the roots are majorly used for other activities that we have mentioned, 
and uh, it boosts your health so today if you see kuch grows in your soil in in your in your land please make sure that you preserve it wash it clean dry it out and use it for the problems that you have and may god bless you